Looks like we got ourselves a trespasser. Don't bother running. My archer's got decent aim and plenty of arrows. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Hold up, lads. This one might be more we bargained for. Go on, then. Just keep your nose clean. Let's try this way. Ah, glad you've a moment for me. My, um, predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. We've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. Thank you. Magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Hmm. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. an ogre, you notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat.
Your cautious method pays off. The dagger glides smoothly out of the mystery meat. Care to experience twice? Oh, I've seen worse. Gnomes can be. Ugh. Ha <laughs> 
Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more, and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for rights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. You want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Goblin's nostrils flare, as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. All right, then. Fresh meat. Scared meat. Yes. Yeah. Talking to perhaps. Cut me loose. Oh, bag of Kamara. There's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. As expected. Coercion by the book. Take my pack if you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully, I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hmm. What do we have here? Your breath catches. The remains of the Saluna statue are defaced with Sharon markings. They must have raided this place long ago. You pause. A sharp, tingling sensation is spreading from your fingertips. The pain blurs your vision and ushers forth strange, half-familiar images. You kneeling upon cold flagstones in prayer. Your tongue trips over the holy words of Lady Shah, and the pain flares, your hand shying away from interrogating a captive enemy. The pain bites in punishment, you hiding from duties in a little alcove you call your own. But the pain finds you anyway. Finally, the sensation fades and takes the images with it. You stare at your hand, unblemished, as if nothing had happened. What 
we have here? This way. I'd better take a peek. A lock. How tempting. Let's grab it. Not to my taste, certainly. Weapon blueprints. They call for the Sousa bark. If only I knew where to find some. Touch those webs or I'll end up in here. Sounds like something's less than pleased.
to get to it. Might be worth a look. Ease. 
Two steps at a time. steps at a time.
just like old times. Got to focus. On I go. What fools these mortals be. Might find something useful. Ah. what we have here. eyes take you in then no time to waste hmm what might be tucked away in here i love the sound of love looks like a trap there The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole, only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. You feel the darkness radiating from the book. 
It's delicious. That looks terribly heavy. Why don't you let me carry it for you? We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out, where anyone could stumble across it. I should take that. going a little longer. <laughs> Missing children. Maggie Terrans, Marcus Terrans, Mathen Deach, Rochelle Kirk. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Tastes like fish. Gentlemen, contain yourselves. This quarrel sells our feast. Besides, tastes like pork. And what surprise is this? Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. Fortune favors our bellies. Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is her measure. Show us the brand of the absolute. that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I... I'm a gourmand, and you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I've no use for the absolute, or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold, we check brand, good deal. No talk.
I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. A brilliant notion and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises, and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. That's curious. What's next? I'll take this way. sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I, I wasn't going to hurt you, I, I just needed, well, blood there in the dim firelight you see him for what he really is a vampire a slave to sanguine hunger i've never killed anyone well not for food i feed on animals boars deer kobolds whatever i can get but it's not enough not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. 
Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest. Stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. I bet it is a talking. Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn. Like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh, I've no idea. For 200 years, the sun would have turned me to cinders until the crash when I woke up bathed in its light. Someone or something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Hunting with vampires. Never thought I'd see the day. Very well, but I'm keeping an eye on you. And no wisecracks about having us for supper. Oh, and a quick word of warning, Astarian. I taste absolutely awful. Keep your distance. Oh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. I'd just better not wake with any holes in my neck. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Historian, how is the rat diet going? It may soon come to an end if you don't shut